During this video, you'll learn how to set up your equipment in order to collect mold and air quality samples. You'll need several pieces of equipment in order to collect your samples. A rotary vane vacuum pump, sterile cotton tipped swabs, a set of Allegro M2 mold cartridges, a length of plastic hose, a tripod, plastic bags, tape, a bag to put all your gear in, and a flow meter to help you calibrate your vacuum pump. Counterclockwise increases the amount of air that you pull, and clockwise decreases the amount of air. These mold cartridges perform optimally at 15 liters per minute. First, you'll set up your tripod. Extend the legs at the base of the tripod and tighten the set screw so that the legs don't slip. Now extend the tripod to its full height. Unpack your vacuum pump and plug it in. Now you'll thread one end of the plastic tubing through the top of the tripod and connect the other end to the nozzle on the vacuum pump. You'll notice that the mold cartridge has two caps on top. That's in order to allow the sampler to collect two air samples with one cartridge. You'll also notice that I have this cartridge covered in labels. It's to help me to distinguish side A from side B. Now remove one of the top caps as well as the back cap. Now you'll connect the mold cartridge to the end of the hose. You'll want to be vigilant in making sure that the number and location on your chain of custody match the number and location in which you're collecting the sample. Set your timer to two minutes, start it, and then switch on your vacuum pump. Once time is up, turn off the vacuum pump and remove the cartridge from the end of the hose. And remember to replace the cap on both the top and the back of the cartridge. Most of the time you'll collect multiple air samples in one sampling run. For our standard package you'll collect one sample outdoors and two samples indoors. Occasionally though you'll be asked to collect the swab or solid sample in addition to the air samples. There will be two sterile swabs in the pack. If you're only collecting one sample, simply discard the other swab. Be sure and make your best effort to collect as many mold spores on the end of the swab as possible. Now place the swab back on the paper sleeve, holding the top down and placing tape around it to ensure that there's no contamination during transport. Now place it in your plastic bag. This concludes your sampling room. Now gather all your equipment and put it back in your bag just as it was. Remember, if you take care of your equipment, your equipment will take care of you. In a separate video, we'll take a look at how to fill out their environmental laboratories chain of custody, as well as the farm out chain of custody.